as a new quilter at Christ Memorial, I had to, I, the quilters here taught me how to quilt. And this isn't one of the first things I learned, because it's a little trickier, but um, the first thing you need to do is put the thread on your needle and tie a knot. And um, I always learned how to tie a knot at the end of the thread by wrapping it around my finger and pulling, but that often makes the tail dark. And so this new way I learned was by wrapping, you wrap the thread around the needle at the um, knot end, and then you do this thing where you pull the thread through that twist, and it leaves a knot at the end like that. And it's a nice clean tail that won't show gray on your quilt. And then you have to get your thread started in the quilt, and you enter it in uh, at a distance to where you want it to come out at and then you have to pop the uh, the knot through the top of the thread so that the beginning of the thread is inv invisible and then when I was first starting to quilt the the way I started was by making one stitch at a time or one half a stitch at a time by putting the needle straight through the quilt and then having to poke around until I got the the needle in the right place to come back up like that. But um, a little bit at a time I got more confident and when I said I want to learn how to do it like you do, then they showed me how you can put this needle in like this and then using the thimble or a fingernail, depending on which direction you're going, you basically um, I, the tip of the needle is pressed against my finger underneath there, which pokes a little bit of a hole in there, but you get used to that. And I'm not doing very well, but you um, basically take your first stitch, and by pushing up this little hill in the quilt, and then you rock the needle up and down through using the thimble to push until you get enough stitches on there. And I have one, two, three, four little stitches now on the needle and I stop because otherwise I can't get a hold of it. And I use this clever little device we call a puller to grab the end of the needle and pull it through. And that's how you eventually learn to quilt a little faster than one stitch at a time. And in a second I will get around to where I need to finish and I'll show you how to do that. I need to turn the corner for this quilt pattern makes a a star in the middle. All right, now I need to finish this thread. <clears throat> and there are a variety of ways of doing this, but what I do is uh, basically create a knot as close to the quilt as I can by looping it around a couple times and then you put it in and come out a distance from and then again you're popping that knot through and then many of the quilters also reinforce this by putting the needle back in and weaving that in a couple more times and uh, then you I have this nifty little tool and basically just slices it off there and the whole end beginning thing disappears and it looks like a continuous line of stitches. <laughs>